What's up my single chats coming at you with an emergency video because today we're gonna be checking out all the top 27 most insane games. The first one at our number 27 is called Last Sentinel. Like this video if you love videos like these with multiple games and definitely comment your top three favorite uh, from the list. This one is being made by XGTA Devs. For a second I really thought that this was gonna be made by Battleful Devs. Oh my god. Let's see if these games gonna hold up. Get your keyboards out. It's Judgment Day. Oh, damn, Mama. Mama just fell. Yeah, I remember seeing that trailer. They revealed it not long ago, right? I'm scared, Mommy. Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. It's going. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, my God. The demon is here. So, top 27, right? Number 27. Let's see what's coming up at 26. It doesn't look bad, but it's just CGI, so I'm not entirely sure what I think of it. What you, uh, what, what you guys think? I mean, X Rockstar devs are working on it, so it, it should be good. It should be good, right? And we recently have covered all the best FPS games that we're gonna get this year as well. I will link you in the pinned comment. Oh no! Oh my god! Damn! Yo, waifu, is that you? They got anime chick up in this biatch! <laughs> Damn. So you do not know who's a uh, robot and who's not. A little bit of Detroit become human vibes as well. A little bit of Shadows of Evil vibes. A little bit of Cyberpunk vibes. What? <laughs> okay, coming in at our number 27, we got Metal Gear Solid. Okay, first in engine look. This one's coming either fall or early 2025 for PS5, Xbox, and PC. A lot of people are hella excited for this game. And I. I I never really played any Metal Gear game. I, I know, I, I know, I never played. Damn, damn! Look at that mod, son. How many of you will pick this game up? Cause yeah, guys, we can sit here and we can say like that game looks good, this game looks good, that looked good. But at the end of the day, are you buying or not? That's where it comes down to. And 2023 felt very, very mediocre for games. Bruh. That might be unpopular opinion, and you can disagree in the chat. We, we had good games. Now listen, when I say mediocre games, I'm not talking about games like Spider-Man, uh, uh, Starfield. Starfield was mid, let's be real. Bruh. But I'm not talking about single player games. I'm also not talking about that, that Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4 Remake, amazing game, right? But how many times are you gonna play? Spider-Man 2, amazing game, but how many times are you gonna play, right? You're just gonna play once and you're gonna be done with it. I guess the finals was uh, the, the finals was a uh, banger. What else? And thank you for subscribing, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, 2023. In your opinion, banger year, L year. What you thinking? But man, it's over. Number 25. We got Project M. Yo, this game looks insane. Yeah, we've seen it. This is like that Japanese GTA. And you wanna know what the craziest thing here is? This guys. We recently had that leak with uh, Rockstar Games, the GTA 5 source code got leaked out, right? Made a video on it, you guys probably saw that. A and that leaked the fact that back during the PlayStation 2 days, Rockstar Games was supposed to have a GTA Tokyo game, but they cancelled. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All the way back then. Absolutely insane, right? To think about, we could have had a Japanese GTA game. Man, I one day want to see a Grand Theft Auto game be set in Dubai. Japan, Tokyo, oh hell yeah. Uh, London maybe as well. Uh, we, uh, what's one city you would love to see be in GTA? I want to see like a game set outside of uh, the states as well. Canada, you guys want Canada? I think Toronto can work. I'm personally in Montreal. Let me know where you guys are at. And each choice you make will change your experience. Okay. Oh, god damn. Guys, what are we thinking? WL, banger, snoozer, you got erectile dysfunction? Bruh. Or what? You hit in the G-spot? Let me know what you're thinking, man. I would say this one, I'm close in terms of saying I will buy. There are a lot of the games that look good, but... exists in the present reality determines how the world will unfold. Oh, damn. Wow. Hey! Hey! Yeah, damn. Okay, what's next? What's next? And comment your top three. Well, I would say Project M for me. And every moment. These will be essential in the world of Project M. This is where our journey ends for now. 
I look forward to seeing you all again. Soon. Just recently, Edge magazine was able to have an interview with IO Interactive okay, Project CEO 007. Atana Brown about the Holy, upcoming game that. and learn more about what the studio is hoping to achieve with it. And the plans are ambitious. It seems it will be a way bigger and ambitious game than Hitman 3, which is already big in its own terms, so that could I be very so. exciting. First of all, it is said that Project 007 will be a more scripted experience than Hitman's free for all missions. Hitman okay. gave you targets to assassinate and then you were left on your own to decide how to do it. You could discover infinite opportunities as you explore the open maps and then go on from there. And you could also cause absolute chaos and shoot everyone. Project 007. I remember one of my viewers a while ago, right, was constantly asking me about any updates on the project uh, or this project, like 007. I hope uh, he's watching this and I hope you happy, brother. Because, yeah, they confirmed this game, but we haven't got any any just any tease maps yeah. won't be open and we as well because james bond has never really been about that though it will feel more epic and grandiose the game has been officially pitched as being the ultimate spy craft fantasy where we'll be able to do what every spy has always wanted or what james bond can do like in the movies this probably means lots of unique gadgets to try and use as james bond which i'm really happy about because there are so many especially in the movies Yay. and what's said to be a bit of a different theme than the brutal murderous hitman game Games. It's also been confirmed the game will be a third-person action-oriented project with an original James Bond that isn't yeah, based on any of the Appreciate movies it. or the actors. However, the game will seemingly be closer to Daniel Craig than any other James Bond movies. It'll feature a completely new story where you'll be going on missions around the world. They've also stated that Project 007 is in heavy development as we speak and is the main project at IO Interactive right now. My name. Is but will it come out? Okay, now we're on to the next I one, right? This I one is called The Altar. So this one is uh, 20, number 23 place. or 24? I lost count. I lost count. When I took this job... Yo, kind of gives me cyberpunk take a different turn. Well, ironically... They do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, space game. I think it's a space game. Space game. Okay, so far, I would say 007. I'm intrigued. I want to see more project M getting Jan close to buy just because he didn't know how to fix his own shit. My name is Jan. I chose the path of science and now I'm stuck with these feather brained versions of myself. My name is Jan. I Bruh. lost everything, but here I am. In a you want me to in banger? Not belong to me. L? My name Mid? is Jan. I've sacrificed my entire life for Lena. And now it turns out she's not even my wife. My name is Jan. Bruh. I'm looking at Yo, all how many times are you gonna I say your name is Jan? We get it, bro. You, you be yawning. Okay, next. Next. Okay, uh, I mean, graphically speaking, looks kind of cool. Or maybe we're gonna have multiple personalities, I think. Okay, it's like a. Man, whoa! It's like the Starfield uh, game, right? But 2D Starfield? Wait, what? Oh, no, 3D. Okay, it's 3D. Damn. Okay. I would say this is like the next gen version of Starfield in terms of graphics because it looks better than uh, Starfield. His name but his I name is Yon. My life back. Okay, Megalol. Yeah. Your character is better than Starfield, or kind of looks like. Yeah, it's gonna have like what multiple. Is your life? Multiple. Next up on the list, we got Space Marine 2, September 9, 2024. I mean, it can always get delayed, let's be real. Okay, another... What is your pledge? Might be an action RPG game. Oh, no, not bad, not bad. Y'all so could have released that two days after and called it the 11th, you know what I mean? Bruh. But then there would have been another drama, let's be real. But so far, the list is kind of all right. And all of these games are uh, single player games that are coming out this year and uh, possibly early 2025 and beyond. I truly want to see a little bit more of 007. So far, I'm intrigued about that. I want to see a new gameplay for Project uh, M because that game looking crazy good. Crazy good. Yo, this kind of brings me to the God of War PlayStation 2 days with, you know, when you had to button mash and. Yo, going are the days when we can button mash. How many of you suckers actually played SmackDown vs. Raw? Uh, 2007 was on PS2. 2008, they actually dropped it on PS3 and PS2. I love that and missed that PS3 version really, really badly, bro. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw Online was amazing on PS3 as well. 
I have a lot of memories, man. I would have my my homies at my home. We were we were kids, right? We, I would have my my homies over my crib, my apartment. And they would bring their controller over and we would play. Yeah, le let me know if you guys got memories like that because those days were lit. Those days were hella lit. Like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying it so far cuz uh and if you want to see more for sure because i can definitely because gaming news is not going anywhere but i want to also like do bigger videos like that where we can watch reveals and new games together rank them down talk about what we see what's coming what's uh, you feel what i'm saying and gaming news as always for sure and i got meme content on separate channel ufo content on another channel scary x those of you that are following appreciate it thank you brother let me send you some kisses as well but holy, not bad, not bad. I would say this one so far I would give it a big W, but am I buying though? Am I buying? Because it all comes down to buying. Not sure yet. Probably not gonna. A okay, next one is Rise of the Ronin. Like March 22nd. In its deadly rhythm. Okay, this one is not gonna be an Xbox, lifetime by the looks. Pass in the blink of an eye. For anyone embracing its bitter end. Yeah, that's like Ghost of Tsushima 10, bruh. Team Ninja, bro. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. Yo, that's Assassin's Creed, bruh! Without uh, By the way, uh, those of you that do not know, they already confirmed. If the drop uh, or not necessarily confirmed, or maybe they did. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm seeing people. Uh, actually make videos about Ghost of Tsushima 2. So either it got confirmed or there are leaks and rumors. But technically we know, like deep down we know, like it's gonna happen, right? Ghost of Tsushima 2 is gonna happen. This game, yo, Yokozuna, what? Oh shit! They got Yokozuna from the WWF, damn! Yo, if Yokozuna sit on you, you're dead, bro. You did, bro. Graphically speaking, not the best looking. Okay, we 1080. Rise of the Ronin, not bad, not bad, honestly, not bad, not bad. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I think a lot of people are subscribing from that UFO video that I just made. You know, that aliens uh, in showed up in Miami, whatnot. I made that video on the channel. Uh, check that out for sure. After this, after this, after this. We have just received our very first details on the next Witcher game that CD Projekt Red is working yeah, on and coming. keeps hyping up. It is the main project being worked on right now at the studio, and it is said that almost half of the CD Projekt devs are hard at work on it as we speak, with this fourth game being said to be the most ambitious game that they've ever created and on Unreal Engine 5. Damn. It will feature a new world with unique locations, new cities, new villages. I never really played Witcher 3. How many of you played it? And they already confirmed they're working on the next Cyberpunk game as well. <laughs> I hope they do it justice, but Witcher's gotta be coming next. This interview, we want to continue in the same direction that we had taken with the series, but we don't want to play the same game, so we will be incorporating a ton of new awesome stuff and gameplay okay. elements. We have some elements of the lore that need to be confirmed. Damn. On the other hand, the universe I must is try always then. the same, and we cannot go beyond certain limits. We must therefore follow a very specific direction while innovating as well. The next chapter will arrive in a few years and after many years from the last of The Witcher game. Holy. So we cannot expect to target only the audience who was already found in the saga. We also need to create a new community and on this I think I can say that it will be an excellent entry point for many players without forgetting those who are fond of the saga and will want to continue experiencing Geralt exploits. So did they just confirm that we will be playing as Geralt Rivia? I'm not sure yet but this comment is just pretty weird so we'll see later on. Our priority is to try to do something that always goes beyond the limits. We want to go further with The Witcher 4. Tell stories mm. that were never told, add gameplay elements this gotta be Witcher 3, to no add, doubt. and create unique features that we've never seen before that will try and end the players in different ways. We want to try something new compared to what we already see in RPGs. This is something we always say man, gamers always say we want to try something new but we get more over the more of the same right? As you can imagine, but the idea is to build something. But it should actually stick to its roots though, they should not change their identity because so many games nowadays are changing I yeah, yeah, yeah. so many games are changing their identity we got donkeys we got donkeys 
This one is called Hellblade 2. 2024 Xbox America. and PC. This one is only gonna be on Xbox and PC. Yeah, yeah this game looked good, actually. It's a horror game, right? Horror game. But this year, we're also gonna... Uh, we, we should be hearing about the next Battlefield game as well. Because they have been teasing it. There are devs talking about it right now on Twitter. Their investor... EA's investor call is coming up as well. Maybe by the time you're watching, it already has come and gone. And if it has, I will have a video on it on the channel. It's specifically happening on, I believe, if I'm not wrong, January 30th. 30th, uh, January 30th. I will stream on the channel. And we should be getting Take-Two Investor Call in early February. We might get some news on GTA 6 as well, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe a new information. Because in their last Investor Call, they did confirm December 5th as, like, the trailer reveal date for GTA 6, right? And we ended up getting that. Uh, we ended up seeing that Lucia Borna, uh, and somebody did leak it a day early, so they had to drop it a day early. That's crazy. And what happened with Insomnia Games? That's insane as well. Uh, GTA 6, so uh, GTA 5 source code got leaked right after Insomnia got leaked. Wolverine, all their plans got leaked. Man, gaming is hella in a rough spot right now because I, like i said earlier like we were talking about right 2023 feels very very it felt very rough for gaming it felt kind of light uh, especially for guys like me that that for and i know it's gonna sound sad and depressing but it is the truth right majority only plays fortnite gta call of duties uh, and that's it the nba is uh, uh and and in that aspect we had a very light year i mean for fortnite it has been a hell of a year crazy year Fortnite's still killing it right now. I think this is gonna be a massive Xbox game, but will you buy WL, Banger, Snoozer, L? What you thinking, boys? The next one on the list is Assassin. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, they confirmed a bunch of Assassin's Creed games as well. Which one is it? Red? Assassin's Creed Red. Daniel. Yeah, music's kind of banger. I think it's gonna be a solid single player experience. But we need like bigger games. Uh, this year we're also getting Call of Duty 2024. And I know it's Call of Duty, I know I, I personally did not buy Modern Warfare 3. What about you guys? You bought it, you don't care for it. You gonna buy the next one or you don't care for it? I hope people don't pre-order. Or if you want to, I hope you do it like a day or two before. Because you're not losing anything. A day or two before, yeah, digitally, if you are gonna, all, you can pre-download. At one of the two main characters from this new Assassin's Creed game. The second character will be a samurai. Now, this artwork has been leaked through one of Ubisoft's senior writer on his LinkedIn profile. According to a prominent Assassin's Creed leaker, who leaked many AC things in the past, this character is called Naoi, and her character story will be similar to that of Bayek. From Assassin's Creed Origins, and she will be very agile and rapid in parkour and in combat, like a ninja oh, for example. According to the leaker, a member of the Order will kill her father, and a quest for revenge will follow, which will push her to create slash join the Shinobis. The world will be bigger Shinobis. than Mirage and will allow for unique parkour opportunities because of the different setting that we're in, which is Japan. Yeah, there is no way this the is houses, the latest. Villages, and there is no way this is the latest Assassin's Creed gameplay because that looked bad, bro. And more direct. Nah, I'm, I'm not willing to believe it. I believe the latest Assassin's Creed game received alright. I, I don't think people were mad about it. I, I mean, we're talking about Ubisoft, uh, Ubi, Ubi Snooze. So they constantly be coming out with the new Assassin's Creed games uh, left and right. But at one point they stop and uh, Assassin's Creed is... It, it's a big franchise. I, I think they're not gonna do it dirty. I think it's gonna be alright. And I'm intrigued about, about it too. Samurai. There was another Assassin's Creed game as well. Not this one. This one is red. There's another one that's like a... It has that horror vibe to it. That's the one I'm particularly excited about. But next up on the list is Enzoi. Oh my god. This is the anime version. Yay. Anime GTA kinda. We've seen this game like a million times already. We got chicks without BBLs though in this game. Crazy man! Absolutely insane because here in the West, like chicks be getting BBLs and whatnot, getting like big ass diaper buds. But but this is like Japanese 101. Jap this game is Japanified or Jap Japanified is that is that is that how you say? It? Bruh. But but yeah, it's like Japanese version I think or Korea. My bad, my bad. Maybe Korea. Wait, what? Bruh. Okay, him wearing that shirt does not mean that it's like that as Korea, but I think it's Japan, either Japan or Korea. But whatever, right? It's like game that's being made in Asia right now. And uh, this is why they, they it's kind of looking good. I mean, people are looking like real people in this game. Damn! You see what I mean? No BBL. All raw, guys. This is realistic. 
Music kind of lit. It has a. <laughs> I don't know if I will buy it. Daniel! I don't know. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna buy it, but. But damn, like, look at that. That's waifu right there. Got that cat as well. You can change the. Yeah, you can also make your character look strong and independent as well. Overall, not bad. And you got like real life money, or not real life, what am I saying? You got in game money <laughs> that you can spend and customize. There are a lot of stickers that got hard ons for games like that. I personally, I don't like customization too much in games. The only, uh, uh, I would say like cars customization, okay, yeah. Guns customization, yeah, but that's about it. Other than that, I don't care for ca uh, customizing my character and like apartments, like places like that. But I know a lot of people have hard ons for that, so I'm I'm surely not the target audience. Somebody's watching, probably gonna be hit in the G spot by this uh, by this game. WL thoughts? Hey, yo, yo, what up? What is up with this fake slaps, bro? Like, I mean, get some protein and then slap the f out of that, bro. I don't know about this game, bro. Yeah, you can be, you can date in the game as well. Mega lol. Mega lol. Guys, like, come on, man, don't be. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, don't be dating in games, man. Like, you gotta get your experience in real life as well. And I'm, I gotta tell that to myself because uh, I gotta start right now. I, I haven't, I have not been chasing the pom pom. I've been chasing the dreams, guys. Don't chase the pom pom. Chase your dreams. Because then the pom pom will chase you, okay? This one is called Marvel Blade. And the craziest thing here is this, guys. But eventually, you, you need you need to settle down and find a wife, right? Like, I, love, bruh. I mean, not, I was meant to play bruh. I mean, it's uh, it's halal. It's halal to, to marry, guys. But here's the thing. This game, right? Focus! Focus! Okay, don't chase the pom pom. We must stay focused, my brothers. We must stay focused. So this one is called Marvel Blade. And we're here and it's coming out in 2027. Yeah, 2027. Like, damn. I don't bite. He says he don't bite. And the funniest thing here is this: just that small trim right there, right? And he's gonna hand him over like 20 bucks. Lock up tight now. Bruh, like who in the world? You just got that little slide, bro. I wouldn't even. Can a brother get two pennies? You handed over twenty dollars. Are you insane? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Yeah, Black Mint, August 20th, 2024. That's on the list. Yeah, we've been strong. Okay, let's wait. Guys, the next one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I w I'm curious about the next one. The next one is Ghost Recon. I'm intrigued about that. Because we've seen this multiple times, and this game is looking very, very good as well. I think a lot of people are excited about this game. Got uh, a little bit of that God of War vibe, at least a good one. Inspired by Journey to the West. The keeper of the new West. Welcome, the destined one. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. There you got cat people walking around. Megalol. Okay, boys, we are halfway through. I want to know about the top three games he got on the list. What are the top three games? What are the top three? It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you are more WL boys. If I if I wanna really decide whether to buy this game or not, I would say or if we're really gonna talk about buying the game or not, I would say like I can see myself buying this game. Project M and uh, Black Myth Wukong so far for me. So these are like top two for me. But I'm curious for Ghost Recon and uh, the upcoming games as well. Maybe my opinion will change towards the end. Because if I only want to buy three, then... Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But this year should be pretty good, in my honest opinion. I think the next Battlefield game, Call of Duty, GTA, 
you see when you and these single player games are gonna be very very good uh their hype reveal is gonna be insane so ghost recon coming out 2025 should be played and what the series should be oriented to thanks to these details ubisoft has reportedly seen the demand and the excitement of a tactical experience and they could be working on bringing this up to the next level with this new ghost recon according to tom anderson ghost recon project over is set to release sometime in 2025 the team completely switched its ideas and gameplay elements mid development and so they need i think this year will be really really massive for game reveals uh, and maybe hopefully and for call of duty as well but next year should be massive for games this year is probably gonna be just reveals 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 and hype 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 that's releases it. such as assassin's creed red seventh mainline park right game and ghost recon which is going under the code name of project over the oh, name wow. is incredibly vague but according to anderson these three games have been really positively received internally and he's heard great things about them too especially Yo, this new ghost recon game which ubisoft is reportedly very excited to show off he also goes on to say that both skull and bones and beyond good and evil 2 are games that are in the way of their other ambitious projects but due to contracts and stuff they need to finish those even if that means budging them in one way or another for example ubisoft has to finish and release school and bones because they are yeah. partnered i believe they didn't they release it and it could get the company what? in much legal trouble if they fail in delivering the product. It's also very nice to see that Ubisoft still hasn't abandoned the Ghost Recon franchise after all the mess that happened with it. Yeah, he thinks his him on record. <laughs> okay, the next one is on record. He thinks bro thinks it's him. Yay. <laughs> Yo, why do we have this edit in the middle? Okay, that got caught me off guard. That's good. He put it in. Yeah, this game is looking very, very realistic. Uh, and, and this kind of blew up. I remember, like, Sega's were making videos on it, and it blew up to a million views. And that's, like, unheard of uh, for indie games, right? Shots fired. Shots fired. Right? I'm not saying it's, like, bad or good. I'm just saying, like, it blew up. And it's it's quite hard to see games blow up nowadays that, that, that way, right? But the only reason it blew up is because it looks different, unique. And real, so real. Yo, thank you for subscribing. So real to the point where Sigas were like, yo, is it, is it, is it body cam footage? And I remember like Sigas were analyzing and a lot of people were like, nah, bro, it's not a game, bro. It's real life. It's real life footage. It's actually real, uh, uh, it's actually a, a game. But here's the thing, right? It's being, it's a small project. It's, now imagine a game looking this real on a bigger scale where you got like 14 hours of campaign story, 20 hours of its side missions, whatnot, right? Like now this second one I have like hundreds of hours of games. Bruh. Yeah, right? Graph with graphics looking this good. It's very hard. It's just for now I think it's impossible. And I'm probably gonna have this unpopular opinion and some of you are probably gonna be like, yo, oh my oh, god, shit. yo skill, what you're saying? I think graphically speaking it doesn't look that pretty. It looks real but it doesn't look pretty. You know, there's a difference between good graphics and real. Because what looks real doesn't always mean it's gonna look very good graphically and pretty. Because there was another game that was being made in Unreal Engine 5. Looks amazing. Looks so real. And it looks better than real life. And I would say that game actually looked insane. And that was eye candy. Looks real, but also pretty. This game looks real but not pretty and this game is the next one what she found that exodus is called exodus was a miracle it would be our salvation uh -huh. to fight against the celestials uh Humanity space games i'm not sure man i'm, I'm kind of out of the zone with space games thoughts guys wl banger snoozer hidden the g-spot or erectile dysfunction what you're getting right now man yeah, I think 2024, 2025 will be solid years for gaming. But after that, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. We gotta get PS5 Pro this year, too. They keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. Damn. Yeah, this is kind of like that Interstellar game, right? Yay! They were... Yo! That mechanic -y, that Interstellar actor, uh, I believe, revealed this game. When you travel at light speed, the game awards. time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me. Oh, but damn. An entire lifetime passed for her. Crazy. Yeah. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. No, come with me. Why? Yeah, that's that interstellar shout out uh, flashback kind of reference. I love you. 
Hmm. Yo, I, I need to rewatch Interstellar. How many of you guys seen it? If you never watched Interstellar, you should. You discovers should. worlds, seeds hope. God, dang. empires. But it's CG. That's what I'm saying. We you know, like it's CG. Travelers. CGI. Okay, not bad. I mean, idea is cool, but yeah, another space game. I think this is gameplay. Okay, I don't remember seeing this actually. What? Yeah, I don't remember seeing this. I think this is gameplay. Okay, graphically, not bad. Uh, actually, very good. Damn, son. Da -da damn, son. God damn, son. This one is called uh, EXC Killer to be announced. Yo, massive cyberpunk vibes, bro. Like, holy, yo, dead ass, right? Yo, is that Cyberpunk 2? Oh shit! Oh shit! That's Cyberpunk 2, man! Because I remember there's uh, one uh, one starting... Uh, you start in a desert in one particular route that you can choose. I mean, there was Nomad and corp uh, Corporate and there was another one in Cyberpunk. You know, when you start the game, you can pick which uh, opening you want. And there was one opening in the desert that you can have. Kind of gives me that vibe. I know it's not, but... Just, just a little bit, right? Just give, just, 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 just give me a little bit of the vibe, you know? Okay, we got like a brother in town. I think somebody's sleeping right here, maybe. What the hell is going on here? The game's kind of empty right now. Is it zombies? Yo, I think it's zombies. Okay, okay. I hope this is not like the day before. We don't want to see another scam, bro. But these are not necessarily zombies. These are more like robots. Yeah, like robot. Robot zombies? Yeah, I wish it was like real zombies. Yeah, I think it's robots because if you look at his hands, it's robotic. Free alpha footage. Okay, I mean, I'm intrigued actually. Uh, not bad. Kind of intrigued, kind of intrigued. But the game, man, it feels so empty, bro. They couldn't feel so dead. Okay, you can search. Yeah, I mean, why do they always show gameplay by walking this slow? Yeah. Yeah. Get that soda. Now, nah, don't drink sodas, guys. Got a lot of sugar in it, and it's bad for you. Uh, messages, vehicles. Nah, I'm intrigued, honestly. Gives me massive cyberpunk. I mean, <laughs> duh. Gives me massive cyberpunk vibes. Do we have a car like this in cyberpunk? I if I, I don't think we have, but maybe now with all the updates. Was it worth it? Dog, off. I feel the animations the same way. Look at that. Dog, that's cyberpunk clone right there. But I hope we actually had flying i wish we had flying cars on cyberpunk we do but you cannot drive i mean like drivable so this one is called project th i heard a lot of people say it's actually good let's see because imagine we yo yo so it's kind of like the project m right yo now i'm gonna be confused which one is project m and which one is project th because both got similar vibes Huh? F yeah. Yeah, homie climbing right now, or Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I would say top three right now, Project M, Project TH, and uh, Black Myth Wukong. The last game we saw that looked like Cyberpunk, I'm intrigued, hella intrigued, but... But the feel, the game feels dead. I, I don't like that. I, and I know some of you will be like, it's just one level, bro. And you're right, you're right. Obviously, I do believe that there will be levels where we're gonna have, or maybe in some spots we're gonna have a lot of zombies, in other spots not so much. But the reason I... I'm kind of suspect with that is because guys we all saw that project uh that that the, the day before game right 
in the gameplay reveals, they showed so many zombies and in the actual game we didn't get any zombie whatsoever. But here I would like to give them credit, at least they are showing us no zombies and if the game comes out with no zombies, then okay, I will tell, uh, I will say at least I will give them, I will be able to give them the credit of no false advertising. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? But I truly hope that games uh, move over to making their games a lot more dense and populated. Because I feel like that we have reached a level where graphics are looking good. I feel like that a lot of games that are coming out nowadays, graphically speaking, are acceptable. Even Starfield that has won the worst 2023 graphics, 2024 graphics uh, in terms of 2023 and 2024 standards. Graphics are really bad. Let's be real. Characters not looking that good. But if the story is good, gameplay is good, I mean, you know what I mean, right? Like, then it's fine. Uh, even Starfield has acceptable graphics, in my opinion. They're not good, but they're okay. They're acceptable. Uh, they're like 5 out of 10, which, in my opinion, means acceptable, okay? If it's not a 7, it's not a 10, come on now. If you're give, gonna give it 10, then that means there's no room for improvement. If you give the overall game 7, not talking graphics, but overall 7, that means it's a good game. And subjectively, you can give it 7 or even 10 subjectively but not objectively objectively i would say the entire game is like six maybe 6.5 uh, right like cyber uh, starfield not just it's a hit or miss kind of but even uh, but even then the graphics i would be saying uh, i would say it's acceptable now i feel like that devs should work more on the story gameplay progression rewarding the players Oh, this one is called Jurassic Park. Yeah, we've seen that Mia Khalifa game, right? You know what I'm saying? Bomba card! <laughs> yeah, this one is looking good, actually. Uh, but they should move over to making sure the games are populated. We need more people. If it's a dinosaur game, there gotta be a lot of dinosaurs. But let's check this out. This is a Mia Khalifa game, though. I've been left behind on Isla Nubla. <laughs> yeah, the frames are very iconic. Honestly, bro, if you are a chick, uh, like, don't wear glasses like that. Like, this frame in particular, I'm forever scarred for life, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. <laughs> I have stopped watching, actually. I, I know I've said that uh, in some streams, but I stopped watching, like, years ago. Like, deadass, deadass. Oh, shit! Stop the cap! No, 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 I stopped watching, man. I don't watch. Sometimes when pictures get across, yeah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> But no, don't chase the pom pom, guys. It's uh, actually really, really bad for you. Pictures are different than videos, but I stopped like watching videos completely, and I don't go around searching for that either. Stop the cap. But I remember when I first discovered uh, as discovered it as a kid, discovered her, I should say, as a kid. Man, my dopamine receptors were blowing. They were going. They were shooting up. Like, a, my dopamine receptors were, like, shooting up like a Christmas tree, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm proud of myself that I stopped watching, like, years ago, honestly. That's one of the best uh, thing I did ever. And the hardest thing, hardest thing. Because, listen, man, I get tempted. We all get tempted, you know? If I get tempted... I, I, I do with the pictures, but not, like, like, videos. Videos, just a lot more data, you know? I make sure, like... To never touch that crap because it's just Red bad line. for you. As your combat AI, I have to warn you that pressing the wrong floor may lead to unexpected Spine. consequences. TBA, PS5, Xbox, the PC. Are you? Is that is that not like Suicide Squad game? Oh shit, it's a new one. Yeah, this is the most replayed. I wonder why. It's called Spine, yay. Yeah. I couldn't even <laughs> get the name off it on the, the timestamp because this is the most replayed part. No elevator this time. Oh my god! Yo, she she got kicks though. She got kicks. I know we talked about not watching, and now all of a sudden I'm doing. I'm joking around, man. I'm just entertaining y'all, man. But for real, she got kicks though. Bruh. She got kicks though. Yeah. My torch. Okay, what's the next one? What's the next one? Warframe, late 2024 PC, later Light to consoles. The way. Oh my god, why so why so serious, bruh? 
I don't know why, but I got buried zombies vibes from Black Ops 2. Thank you for subscribing. Love you. Appreciate you. Man, we got a lot of people subscribing right now. I think it's due to that, that video I done earlier. On that, that UFO video. If you guys are into UFO content, I have a second channel by the name of Scary X. Scary A-X-E. Scary X. Definitely check it out, man. I, that's my second channel. I have a third channel that's for memes. Uh, I actually linked both of my channels uh, on the main channel page. You go, you click on the channel page, you scroll down uh, under the videos, you will see the channel. Uh, if you're into that content, subscribe. Uh, I started a new channel for the memes as well. So far, I only have one meme video on it and a couple of shorts because uh, just not finding enough time. But I, that's my goal to have a sick ass a good meme channel as well because gaming here, UFO content and then uh, meme content. That's kind of like the goal. Okay, this game is uh, Soul Frame. Didn't didn't you say Warframe? Hey, yo, what? Bruh. Is it called Soul Frame or Warframe? Now I'm confused. But damn, it looked good actually. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Damn, there haven't been that many games where I would say I'm intrigued, but this one genuinely. Holy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. WL, boys, what you thinking? How you feel about this? Bruh. For a second, I thought it was Baby Yoda. Getting a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy vibes as well. We are making uh, more of a role-playing game this time. So, a role -play? uh, it is based on the, the three virtues of courage, spirit, and grace. Uh, and these will be your way of customizing your envoy to your liking and your play style. Uh, and then beyond that would okay. be your pact. So if you go to the pact, which is not that, but that's fine. Oh yeah, let's show off some of the different looks. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah, even the yeah. HUD kind of gives me lots Hogwarts of, Legacy and Harry cool, Potter vibes. Um, Thoughts? Armors that you'll get. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. And take out. Oh yeah, you got some helmets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joey's flexing his account on me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so Brand. in Soul Frame, uh, rather than changing your Warframe, you are going to oh, just change. Frame. Every game needs a magic arm, I assume. But he said so Warframe that's as well. What we have here. According to new rumors, it's Soul Frame, but war you, it's Warframe. You can change very it soon, as its developers have reportedly yeah. been pressured to create an official reveal for the public. Dude, I'm now, excited. Get into this Crystal Dynamics. I'm hell excited for this game, bro. They better not nerf that booty. Hey. Confirmed to be fully back. They better not make her strong, independent. They better not give her a bud light. I hope they these suckers don't change her gender, bro. She did perfect the way she is, bro. Most extreme capabilities. The last Tomb Raider games used the company's own engine, but Unreal Engine 5 is what they truly wanted for this reboot. They said this new engine translates into next level storytelling and gameplay experiences. Yeah, like next level uh, jiggle mechanics around through, huh? the world. Lara Croft will face dangerous enemies and environments that will hope feel so. like real life. Our goal I is to push so. the envelope of fidelity and to deliver the high quality cinematic action adventure quality. experience that quality. fans deserve from both Crystal Dynamics <laughs> and the Tomb Raider franchise. The development I hope of the new Tomb Raider game is apparently in full swing and has been for a long time now with an official reveal set for very soon. That's according to Miller Ross who is an industry insider who first leaked Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics plans to forever end the updates on Marvel's Avenger which failed miserably and he was right because they are missing all development on this game. Crystal Dynamics went yeah. right back to Tomb Raider and will never talk about Marvel's Avengers again. Yeah, they're never gonna... I mean, they literally shies the bet. So this one is called Little Devil Inside. He'll be announced PS5 and PC. Oh, okay. Bumbo Cloud. Bumbo Cloud. But yeah, I'm, I'm hell excited for Tomb Raider, bro. Tomb Raider. Okay, I would say Tomb Raider uh, must buy. I'm, I might even stream, actually. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how you guys are uh, feeling about it. If you guys feel like it, we'll play it and we'll stream. If not, then no biggie. No biggie. I'll uh, play uh, for myself, okay? Bruh. I'll play for myself. But I think, okay, realistically, Tomb Raider, I can see myself buying because uh, the previous games were good and. I mean, it's Lara, it's Lara, you know what I'm saying? So. But if the game. Uh, but I'll still wait for the reviews because after all, these things we made Avengers, Marvel Avengers. And if these things can 
annihilate a project that big, then I, I, all I gotta say here is bread. Because Marvel Avengers, bro, you have all the money, you got all the brand recognition, the brand value is there, the fans are there, people know about it. You just gotta make a good game, market it, drop a trailer or two, and bam, that's it. Sucker's gonna buy that game, you know, it's that one of those games. But those suckers failed miserably uh, with that. But I think it sold quite well because it's Marvel, so... Hey, yo, what? <coughs> Grandpa dropping a deuce? Kinda uh, has that Little Big Planet vibe. Yo, whatever happened to Little Big Planet? Infamous, Killzone, these are some of the games that we might never get. PlayStation killed all these franchises. Xbox killed their Halo franchise. Bruh. What is happening right now, bro? What is happening to gaming? Activision killed Call of Duty. But there's a chance with Call of Duty 2024, maybe, maybe, it's gonna be good. Maybe. Yeah, homie, be running Phantom Blade Zero. Oh, yeah, I heard a lot of good things about this game. Let's see. I don't remember uh, seeing this game. I heard the name, but. Damn. Voldemort, is that you? Yeah, I've got that Ghost of Tsushima vibe, too. Everyone wears a mask. You too. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back, bro. What secret did you sell him? Oh damn. Okay, so this is chop. Oh my god, this is. Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy! This is number two, boys. Okay, I wanna, I wanna wait for number one. Yo, what's number one? What's number one? Yo, number one coming up, boys. Guys, if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, and let me know if you want to see more videos like these. I, I feel like that these videos are better than gaming news videos, in my opinion, because uh, you get to see the games and the gameplays we talk, we discuss, and we kind of bond, and I send you a dish kishi as well. No homo, obviously. And we talk about what's happening, what's coming up, right? We get to relax, we get to see the games, and... Uh, WL, you know, we can do all that BS too. <laughs> uh, but what about this game though, WL? Gaming news and these videos. That's the goal for this channel. Uh, let me know if you uh, want to see more. I surely can, because the last episode we did was for all the top FPS games. Before that, all the ultra-realistic games. Now we're doing single-player games. And if you guys are down, uh, I'll do another one as well in the future. Because you know what, I, I feel like that a lot of YouTubers are starting to do these now. I feel like this is a current trend and people are, I guess people want to see that because it feels dry right now. I think this is why. Because people want to know what games are coming out because it just... Okay, this is the number one prototype footage. It better be good. So, Vigilancer 2099. What? Oh, shit. Yo, oh, shit. that's a cyberpunk though. PC later on, later to console. Okay, thank God they're going to be dropping on consoles. Okay. So 2077 was Cyberpunk. I think it's probably in the same universe, if I'm not mistaken. Or inspired off of that universe. Right? Yeah, I think it's either inspired or in the in the same universe. So prototype not final. What? 2099. Damn, man. Yo, in real life, right? Imagine 2099. We're not gonna be here. Maybe very few of us. If you're, let's just say, if you're a teenager watching this video, maybe. I'm like 20, I'm 27 right now, right? And we in 2024. We are, what, 76 years away till uh, 2100? It, yeah, very few people live up to 100 years, right? Yeah, you never know. But boys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode we've done for all the ultra-realistic games. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, these are all the top... Uh, FPS games that are coming out in 2024 and beyond. Check out both of these videos and I will see you in the next 